Hi, um, here's me again, uh, Amanda McIntyre. I wanted to talk today about the issue of caricaturing femininity. One of the things that really bothered me about transitioning before I started, and the main reason I put it off, was that I was really concerned that I wasn't going to be able to do it in a way that was respectful to cis women. I felt that to do the whole thing with the dress, the nail varnish, um, the tights, I don't know, uh, whatever, all the sort of accoutrements, makeup or whatever, of femininity was very disrespectful and it was like, that was not what a woman looks like, that's a stereotype of femininity. And I also thought that when I went through with it, that I wasn't going to do all that, I was just going to be anatomically more female than I was and that would be it. However, I've changed my mind on that for a number of reasons. Um, but the most important thing is why do people do this? And I think there are two reasons why people appear to be caricaturing femininity on the whole. One of them is that people will have been pushing this tendency down for their whole lives to present in a feminine way, present in a female way. And so when they finally let go of it, it bounces up and it becomes overwhelming and they go, oh, thank God for that, I don't need to do that anymore. And then they sort of swing past the point where they're able to do it in a moderate way and they will do that. And of course there will be many people out there who will be invisibly passing and so you don't even know they're doing it. Uh, but before that point they may also have done that. And that's not what I'm doing. I don't feel the need to do that. But I do feel the need to do things like the nail varnish, the jewellery, the dress. Uh, the long hair has always been there, actually, by the way. Uh, but the makeup um, and all of that stuff. Um, and the reason I do that is because if I look down at my body, um, as it is in its previous state, covered in hair, muscular, I mean not very muscular because I was always a bit of a weed, um, flat chest, all of that stuff. It's really horrible. It's just uh, revolting, disgusting. It's really distressing to see yourself like that. And so the way I can sort of make myself feel better about that is to do things like wear a dress, um, hair removal, and you know the nail varnish, the makeup, the, the jewellery, all that kind of thing. And really that's why I do it. I don't want there to be anything in my visual field. I don't want there to look at anything that reminds me of the state I was born in and the state that I, my body was left in after I, it was devastated by puberty. Um, I just want all of that to go. And I realise, like I've said before, that it does look weird to people. Um, that it doesn't work, it doesn't help me pass as female or anything like that, even though I am female. Uh, because clearly my body has been devastated by male hormones and I can do certain things to correct that but it won't, it won't take it away completely and I know that and I have to accept that. It's important to accept yourself of course. But I just don't want there to be anything that undermines my confidence to that extent, that disgusts me about my body um, and I realise, you know, other people they're going to look at it and they're going to see me as a joke. They're going to see me as um, perhaps insulting them or perhaps as having some sort of sexual fetish. And that's not what it is. All it is, is I don't want to look at myself and think, ugh, that's not a hand that belongs to that. So yes, I will go for the caricature and I will go for the stereotype. And the reason I do that is because those things, like it or not, symbolise femininity. And so that's what I do. Now, I missed something out last time, which is this. If you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you don't like it, please tell me why so I can improve. And I'll see you next time. Bye.